Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever wanted to run an AI chatbot such as ChatGPT locally, I've got some really exciting news for you. And that is that Nvidia has just released Chat with RTX, which is a fully functional technical demonstration app that you can download for free to run a GPT LLM, a generative pre-trained transformer large language model, which is the same AI model used for ChatGPT locally on your own Nvidia RTX graphics card. Not only does that give you a completely private chatbot to talk to and you know toss ideas back and forth with, you can also customize that local chatbot by feeding it information from your computer that it can scan and learn from, or you can feed it YouTube video links or playlists and it downloads the transcript onto your machine and learns from that. And it gives me natural language responses based on the content that I've fed it and that I've trained it with. Now, in order to run chat with RTX, you do need an RTX 30 or 40 series or later graphics card. You'll also need about 50 gigabytes of space to download the whole thing and install everything that you need. So it might take a little bit to set up unless you live in a country where they actually have good internet. I'll drop you the links to everything down below the YouTube video so you can go and check that out, download it yourself and play around with it. But just in case you're interested, here's an actual demo and some of the things that you can do with it right out of the box. This is the NVIDIA Chat with RTX website. I'll drop you the link down below the video as well, so it's easy to find. And in here, all you do is download Chat with RTX. Now do note that the download itself is 35 gigabytes of data. And then when you install the program and start it up, it downloads probably another 15 for a total of about 50 gigabytes of hard drive space. But once all of that is done, you can fire up NVIDIA Chat with RTX. And once it spins up, it opens a browser where you can select your AI model that you want to talk to. Let's go with Mistral and then down here you can start chatting. Now this does generally work pretty much the same way as ChatGPT and you can get ideas and thoughts and you know do all sorts of things with this chatbot. However, do note that it is quite limited in comparison to ChatGPT. The whole data model for Chat with RTX, I think is about 50 gigabytes for the AI. ChatGPT, I believe has over 600 gigabytes. So it consumes much more information and has a much deeper knowledge and a much more elaborate language, at least at this point, I would say. But with Chat with RTX, you're running this locally. You don't need the internet to run this at all. You don't have to pay for it. And here's the cool thing. You can actually point it at folders on your hard drive. For example, I have a folder here with all sorts of recipes. And if I wanted to figure out how to make pizza, I might jump in here and look at, you know, different types of pizza. Or in Chat with RTX, I can change my data set from the AI default model to folder path. Now let's change this folder path to my recipes folders and hit select. The chatbot will scan all of the documents in that folder and load any text PDF or doc files. I think XML is supported as well. And now I can actually just ask, how hot should my oven be for baking pizza? and chat with RTX, the chatbot will actually give me an answer, 230 to 260 degrees Celsius. You know, it's a bit of a variance and it gives me a link to the document it used. Or I could ask it, how do I make apple crumble cake? And it gives me an actual answer. Now it pulled the information from the documents on my local machine. So the answers are only as good as the data I provide, garbage in, garbage out, as they do say. So you have to make sure that the documents you're feeding it are actually useful. Now, one thing that I found super useful personally is I actually have a folder on my computer that contains manuals I've downloaded for Ableton, for our ovens, for you know all sorts of different bits and pieces, software pieces. There's a Pokemon rule book and whenever I need to look something up, it's a bit of digging through it. So what I've done, I've changed my data set over to manuals, select that folder instead. And now I can actually ask it specific things around any of the manuals that were in those folders, for example, how do I add send effects to Ableton Live? And it's pulled this information straight out of that manual. Or can I have duplicate cards in my Pokemon deck? And again, it pulled that information out of the rulebook. Now I have found that some of these answers aren't perfectly accurate. And do remember that this is a tech demo at this point. Another limitation that Chat with RTX currently has is it doesn't remember context. So right now I couldn't ask it a question around another question that I've asked previously. For example, um, can you say this nicer? The chatbot won't actually have context around what I mean. So every question and answer kind of stands by itself. Also, it is much better at retrieving information from a single source rather than reasoning around a whole set of data it has consumed. Now, another cool thing besides using your local folders is you can feed it a YouTube playlist or a YouTube video and it will consume the 
transcript for that and use that as the learning for your chatbot. For example, let's change this over to YouTube URL. I'm going to jump over to the NVIDIA YouTube channel and here you can feed it, you know, tutorial series or language learning or anything that you want to, you know, ask all sorts of questions. So I've got NVIDIA at Computex 2023 playlist right here. I'm just going to copy this URL, jump over to chat with RTX and let's enter this URL and just hit download transcripts. And this might take a little bit because it's now going to download the text transcripts for all of the videos in that playlist, unless the process is being throttled by YouTube. Then the information is going to get consumed into that chatbot to train that large language model. And once that's done, I can ask questions relating to the content of those videos. For example, what new products were announced by NVIDIA at CES in 2023? And here's a full list of everything that I might have missed. I don't need to watch the whole video or scan through a whole bunch of different bits and pieces to find what I'm looking for. The AI has simply done that job for me and this has been super helpful already. I'm really excited where the future for Chat with RTX goes. I hope they add a whole more detail to this language model so it becomes much more elaborate and much more eloquent and better at, you know, giving you some really nice ideas if you're just using it as a sounding board or better at consuming some of this information and presenting it back to you. Again, remember garbage in, garbage out, so make sure the data you feed it is actually good. But this is a really great tool. It's completely free. All you need is a modern NVIDIA RTX graphics card. So go and download it, try it out. It runs on your local machine. Everything is private and secure. Please leave your thoughts below. I'm really keen to hear what you think about. I'm super excited about some of this AI technology that's been coming out and chat with RTX is certainly up there on top of the list of things to look out for. And that is all there is to it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified when I release new videos. It really helps out my channel and I greatly appreciate it. Any comments, questions or suggestions, just leave them down below the video. And with that, thank you very much for watching and until next time, I will see you later.